This incredible tiny house in the heart of Tucson, Arizona has become the embodiment of a dream of simple yet fulfilling living. It's a place where every inch of space is used smartly and tastefully. Its owner, Karen, has invested not only financial resources but also a piece of her soul and past renovation skills into its creation. Built in Tennessee, the house was personally transported by Karen to Arizona on a pickup truck. For seven months now, this tiny house has been standing in a mobile home park off the highway near shops and a shopping center, costing $390 per month plus utilities. It's connected to a 50 amp power source as well as water and sewage systems. On this house, over the standard metal panels, 29 gauge roofing panels were installed, giving the exterior a finished and attractive appearance. Added touches like DIY shutters, flower boxes on the windows, blue stools, and a staircase leading to the entrance contribute to its warm and homely exterior. The wall insulation is made of 2 inch closed cell polystyrene foam, which helps keep the house cool on hot days. The interior is finished in light tones, visually expanding the space. One wall features self-adhesive wallpaper, adding individuality to the interior, while the other walls are simply painted. At the entrance to the tiny house, there's an IKEA-mounted shelf for shoe storage. Above it, a shelf for a lady's handbag and a hook for scarves and sweaters, and a small mirror with cat bowls underneath. The bed was made from several horizontal shelves found on Facebook Marketplace, allowing the space under the bed to be used as an additional storage area. On the other side is another storage area with baskets for clothes and food, which was also made from a horizontal shelf and a large cushion. Next to it is a space for hanging clothes and a small television. Despite its size, the house is equipped with everything necessary for comfortable living. The kitchen features floating shelves secured to the wall with screws and construction glue designed to withstand the weight of ceramic dishes and jars of food. The kitchen area contains many drawers for storing kitchen utensils and electrical appliances for cooking. The empty space, originally left for a cupboard, perfectly accommodated a small 4x4 cubic feet refrigerator and the extra 5 inches on the side became a pull-out spice rack on door guides. The shelf above the refrigerator serves as space for a convection oven and small flat bowls for cooking and pot holders. Karen, using her experience in renovation, crafted the countertop of the workspace herself, cutting and sanding it from a part of the kitchen and attaching a couple of spindle legs to the countertop. Above the entrance to the bathroom is an attic for storage, measuring 92 by 38 inches with a height of about 18 inches. It perfectly fits a suitcase, Christmas decorations, and keepsakes that are rarely used. The bathroom is concealed behind a fabric curtain, which is a practical and aesthetic solution for one person. Inside, there are shelves above the toilet for personal hygiene items and a spacious 36 by 36 inch shower stall, which is significantly larger than the shower in Karen's previous tiny house. There is also a laundry basket and a 7500 watt window air conditioner which works quite effectively in the tiny house. Karen, who manages her budget with particular attention, appreciates the economic benefit of living in a small house. Her living expenses have significantly decreased compared to what they would have been for renting traditional housing. This saving allows her to enjoy life, often go to karaoke with friends and plan trips she has always dreamed of. In the next house, a couple built their tiny zen home on wheels in the backyard of their friends. They knew where this little house would be located and therefore designed it with the terrain in mind. Looking at this house and its surroundings, it really looks very beautiful and incredible. When the couple built it, they were inspired by Japanese and Scandinavian styles, so the house's cladding was made of silver wood from the WeatherTex company, which is eco-friendly and gives the house a nice look. The rear extension of the house is made of cedar, which adds useful space and a twist to the exterior. You can also see large and small windows, even a milky blue door, which adds a Scandinavian style. Initially, the house looked too gloomy, 
but the couple's imagination and good taste turned it into something beautiful. The house has a width of 3 meters and a length of 7 meters, not counting the half meter extension at the end of the house. The total area of the house is 34 square meters. This house is modular. It was assembled in such a way that it can be disassembled in one day and assembled in two days, so it is not difficult to take the house to any other place. The house also has a large terrace where you can drink a cup of tea in both winter and summer and also have a great time in nature. The main entrance to the house is through a large glass door, and inside the house the living room greets us, giving the impression of being very spacious and fresh due to its large windows and doors. In the living room there is a large sofa, a staircase to the attic, and that same useful space, a window where you can lie and read a book. In this sofa, and in the living room in general, there is a lot of storage space. These are large drawers under the sofa, a place under the window, and pull-out drawers in the stairs. In the living room, you can set up a big cinema, because a large white sheet pulls out from below the attic and a projector displays on it. Behind this sheet is a large and spacious kitchen, which has a stylish thick countertop. In general, a lot of the kitchen is made of wood, which gives it more coziness. It has many open shelves, which allows you to see the food and cook while looking at it. Above the sink is a large window, which in the summer season can be turned into a bar counter, and you can pass drinks directly from the kitchen to your friends. On the other side of the kitchen is a full stove with an oven, which allows baking. To the side, there is a pull-out cabinet, and you can fit a lot in there. After the kitchen is a bathroom with a toilet. The toilet in this house is composting. Above it are open shelves, which allows you to see the presence of certain things in the house. And there are two showers, one outside and one inside the house. In the house, this is not only a shower but a whole bath in a tiny shower, because there is a sink installed there. The floor on the first level is made seamless and transition free, maintaining a continuous space. Let's move on to the attic. From the first floor, it's evident that there's an entire small Buddhist garden, adding a unique touch to the home's interior. The attic here is indeed very large. It houses a spacious double bed and additional space beyond it for yoga and other purposes. The attic also has large windows. There's a soft carpet that's pleasant to the feet and various decorative items that adorn this bedroom. It's noticeable that they don't have any ceiling lights at all, which helps maintain darkness at night. However, there are lights in that garden, and when turned on, they cast dappled plant shadows on the ceiling, which is very charming. The Kaupla notes that this house has much more space than in any other homes. The space is far more functional and properly arranged. They brought in experts for the construction of the house, and it ended up costing a total of $47,500 plus a veranda for $3,250. For such an incredibly beautiful house, this is a wonderful price and fully justifies itself. Write in the comments what you think about these two houses, did you like them? And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoyed it. Thanks, see you in the next video.